Hip impingement is a problem of the hip I've been treating now in Seattle for uh, almost 20 years. Um, over that time, we've learned a tremendous amount about the uh, uh, problem and, and how best to treat it. Um, we diagnose hip impingement by first listening to folks uh, and, and where their pain is, when it occurs, uh, which positions make it worse, what, what things make it better. Um, uh, we, we, we then look at folks, we look at how you walk and, and how you move and move your hip and see which positions uh, make it worse, uh, where the pain is located when we move certain ways. Um, X-rays and MRI arthrograms play a big, big role in the, in the diagnosis of hip impingement. We look at the X-rays to determine how the hip shape um, deviates from what we would consider the more perfect hip shape. And then the MRI arthrogram is extremely important in determining how, uh, where the damage is, how severe it is, um, what, what tissues are involved, including the acetabular labrum, we call it, this bumper of cartilage around the edge of the socket, and the um, art articular cartilage covering both the femoral head and uh, acetabulum, the socket. Um, first, we try treating it uh, non-surgically, so we talk about uh, taking anti-inflammatories, avoiding certain activities and movements, sometimes physical therapy, al although this doesn't play a huge role in, in the treatment of hip impingement, and time. And if symptoms <clears throat> have been going on for long enough and are severe enough, um, we occasionally t talk about surgery. Uh, I treat this arthroscopically, so I look inside the hip joint first and determine the, the amount of damage and where it is. I then try and repair everything we can. So I try and repair the acetabular labrum, the capsule, uh, sometimes the articular cartilage, although for most of these structures, the articular cartilage and with certain roughening of the hip, uh, we're left with basically removing the rough edges. Uh, but quite frequently, we will repair the acetabular labrum with sutures. The big thing we do at surgery is try and return the hip shape back to a more normal or, or more perfect shape. So we will remove bone from the acetabulum and femoral uh, neck, the head-neck junction, to try and relieve these areas of contact so further damage doesn't occur.